Hello guys. Welcome. I am Professor Umair Sultan and as you can see on the screen I have received the question via email and it says hello I need some help on this Excel version 2007 find the average sales per month create a pivot table to show this and create a pivot chart for the data just need the steps and what the pivot table fields look like thank you the steps to how to generate a pivot table and a pivot chart uh, with the given data in the excel so here it is so the first thing that you need to do with any data to create a good pivot table so that it easier for you to handle it is to select the whole data that you have and then convert it to table in order to do to convert it to table you can click on insert and then click on table or you can use the keyboard shortcut which is alt n and then t i have used the keyboard shortcut so you can see i have got this small dialog box which says create table and i have this check box checked in that is my table has headers so this is very very much needed because we already have a header line in the first row so let's click on okay and it will convert my normal range data into a table right so i am going to change the design and i am going to keep it this so that it looks good so now as we have converted the range to the table what we can do now is we will need to again select the whole thing and now i am not going to use keyboard shortcut so i am going to show you with mouse so we will click on insert then we'll click on pivot table okay so over here you can see that there is the option and uh, i'm going to create a pivot table for the given range so here is the table name coming okay instead of a range and it will be in a new worksheet so when i'll click okay you will be able to see that it will create a pivot table area in a new sheet which is sheet 4 over here now what i want over here is to show month and to show average sales per month so what i will do is i will first take month so what will happen okay when i click on month it will create a column in which it will have a row rows with all the month in it now i want sales as you can see the moment i click sales it takes it to the it takes it down over here to the values box and by default the formula is sum of sales so it is doing sum of all sales in the month however we need average so for for that we have to click on this drop down over here and we have to click on value field setting in this you will be able to see another dialog box that will be coming up which will be value field settings over here you can see that by default it was on sum and there are many other options that you can choose depending on what you want so we need average sales for every month so we'll click on average and we will click on okay so now as we have uh, click on average you you must have noticed that the values have been changed and it is now average of every month that is been shown over here over here you can see that in some of the columns uh, it has used its own default Uh, decimals well you can change that as well okay you just need to select the uh, the data that is been given over here in average sales and go on home and you can either increase or decrease the decimal depending on your need okay so i have done two decimal points so you can see this now we also want a pivot chart okay So yes we can do that in the similar way so we will option there is a there is a drop down which will click on and when we click on that we are going to get the option of pivot chart so we are going to click on that because this time we are creating a chart and not a table so again there will be a di dialog box and this will be for pivot chart and it will also go on the new sheet i am putting it on new sheet you can put on existing sheet wherever you want over here you can see that the things are similar however it is creating a chart and by default it has created a bar chart over here 
and there is nothing to show at the moment that what we will do so again in the same thing we want months because we want to show like the, like on each month what is the average number of sales that were there so we'll click on sales again and we'll repeat the same process because if you can see by default it is showing the total sales that is the sum of total over here which is with the total label over here and it has created uh, bars that on which month you have how like what are the sales that have been generated however as we want average we'll again click on the drop down in the values field and we'll click on value field setting and we'll click on average once we do that it will turn into average and it will show average over here however you can change this total okay this is uh, that to average so we'll click on it and we will click average over here okay mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. typo over there so here we have average okay and now in this over here if you can see by default the January month sales is 662 which has been given in the points and if you hover it it will give you uh, what is the exact point but the bars are not showing the value which you can also do that by clicking on the chart layout option so there are many options to choose from and if we want like a label one then we can try this and it will like try to label everything okay so here you can see it has created a label without without the without the left x uh, that is the y axis over there and if you want that that is also a layout which you can get so we will do that as well so we'll click on it and there are many other layouts so you can choose whichever the one that is suited for you and which is better in terms of doing this this is also one of the layout that is also been given let us see a different kind of layout so there are many layout options let me choose the one yeah this is the one which i think is good because we have the y axis over here which is showing the total of the point number as well as every month is mentioned along with its own points that the bar has been created so this is how uh, i think uh, i have answered uh, the question by giving you the steps this is 2000 excel 7 2007 steps you can have your own steps Se steps are similar there might be some changes in the menu okay and the latest version of the excel or if you go even to the older versions i don't think so anyone is using older than 2007 at the moment so 